Every now and again, you come across someone that completely blows your mind. So how about seven of those? We have carefully chosen these ten men that we still can't quite believe really exist, but there they are, in all their glory. 10. Yu Zhen Huan Yu Zhen Huan is a Chinese man with a lot of body hair, in fact, it covers around 96% of his body, which means that he looks a little bit like a bear. But when Yu was first born, no one could ever have known that he would eventually grow up like this. Yu had hypertrichosis which causes the hair growth to work double time. The condition is also called the werewolf disease, and it is believed that people in the past, unable to understand why a person was so hairy and different from anyone else, created the werewolf myth. Yu has certainly not been able to avoid the public eye. He has featured in several television documentaries, and there are many videos of him on YouTube. However, Yu has not let his unusual condition alter the way that he would have lived his life. He has a girlfriend and has created his own website to host photographs of him and his hair. He is determined to become a rock star, and wants to become famous for something other than his looks. 9. Hulk look out behind you. Remember that day when you were 8 years old and all you wanted is to be bigger? Well this kid wants to be anything but bigger. An 8 year old Indian boy has left doctors puzzled. Apparently his hands swelled to super freaky proportions and now weigh more than his head. The young boy named Colleen lives in India and sadly he is unable to carry out simple tasks, including tying his own shoelaces. When he was born he already then and there had hands twice the size of an average baby. His mother Halima, 27, said she knew her son was different from the day he was born but she was powerless and her son's hands have now grown so big they measure more than 12 inches from the base of his palm to the end of his index finger. 8. Steroid-induced men Anabolic steroids, are technically known as anabolic androgenic steroids, also known as as are enhancement drugs that are structurally related to the cyclic steroid ring system and they have similar effects to testosterone in the body. They also increase protein within cells, especially in the skeletal muscles. This drug is particularly common around professional men athletes who want to improve their performance. Many steroid stories from the NFL, MLB and NBA ended up with the suspension of the players using us. Another group who is sort of in love with steroids are men bodybuilders. They can't resist the thought of building their body into new sizes and shapes. 7. Super Pierced, Rolf Buchholz One man's obsessions with the needle has taken him very far from the way that he originally looked, and has now made him the most pierced man in the world. Rolf Buchholz absolutely loves the feeling of getting a new piercing, and that buzz has led him from 1 to 5 to 453 piercings. Yes, you read that correctly, 453 piercings. When you look at a photograph of Rolf, it is all too easy to become transfixed with the sheer number of piercings around his mouth, nose and eyes. They look almost too many to count, but of course, Rolf has kept a record. That is why we can tell you that he has 94 piercings just in and around his lips, and 8 in his nose. There are over 30 in his ears two in his tongue, and three in his nipples. The area of his body where he has the most piercings, however, is probably the last place that most people would want them, in his genitalia. He has 278 down there dot which we didn't even realize was possible. 6. World's Smoothest Criminal Jeremy Meeks. Some women must truly like their boys bad. That could clarify why a mugshot of the dangerous Jeremy Meeks has fascinated more than 23,000 likes and 5,000 comments on the Stockton Police Department's Facebook page. Meeks who is 30 years old, was detained due to weapon charges on Wednesday in Stockton, California. The arrest was a part of the police department's ceasefire sweep operation which was conducted due to a recent increase in gunfire shootings and armed robberies in the Weston Ranch area. While the charges against Meeks are no joke, the people who posted comments on the police department's Facebook page are all but serious. Pointing out his beautiful eyes, one woman desired to be locked up with him, another woman hashtagged his picture hashtag hottie thug, and another person wondered how many of the commenters would apply for the bachelor in jail if he was the grand prize. 
but a totally different commenter summed up the spirits of many of the commenters with the remark, could have been an actor or a model. But there's at least one woman who isn't impressed with the worldwide lust, Meek's wife. She's furious, Meek's friend Simone Johnson told CBS 13 at his arraignment on Friday. Her man is in there and people are taking it as a joke, thinking it's funny talking about his looks, saying all kinds of crazy things. Meek's mother, Catherine Angier, has insisted that her son is not guilty and has even set up a GoFundMe page in order to raise $25,000 to get him a fair hearing. Angier apparently has been in trouble with the law for several offenses. He has a job and he was on his way to work, with no gang affiliations as per two of the charges, she wrote on the fundraising page she launched. He has old tattoos which causes him to be stereotyped. He's my son and he is so sweet. Please help him to get a fair trial or else he'll be railroaded. So far her fundraising project has raised less than $500. Five. Mr. Smurf, Paul Kirosin. Many of the men in this article were born different. They had absolutely no choice in the matter. Some men have strived to become stronger. Others lost the will to keep smiling. Paul Carson is the kind of guy who brought things on himself, and his condition is certainly not connected in any way to his birth. He admitted that his skin turned blue as a side effect of consuming a silver compound that he created himself 10 years ago. He needed the silver compound to treat a very bad case of dermatitis on his face. His condition is called argyria. It is generally believed to be permanent. Avoiding the sun is the only practical method of minimizing the cosmetic deformity that comes with Argyria. Even since Paul has been discovered, he has become a famous internet figure. There are many more cases such as Paul's, but no story or picture has been ever as popular as his. He is genuinely the one and only real live Papa Surf. 4. Many Me Chandra Bahadur Dangi. Chandra Bahadur Dangi is currently the smallest person alive. He is only 1 foot, 9 inches, and is a primordial dwarf. This genetic condition starts early. In fact, it is possible to diagnose primordial dwarfs in the womb, because the fetus is much smaller than normal. Of course, when Chandra was born it was impossible for anyone to tell that he was going to be different, and many primordial dwarves start off appearing perfectly healthy and then simply do not grow. Primordial dwarves are actually quite rare around the world, and even more so because of all the health problems that comes with being so small. There are usually vascular problems, which eventually get worse and worse until the person dies. These medical complications often mean that the majority of primordial dwarves do not live much beyond 30 years old. Chandra, on the other hand, has completely mystified all specialists in this area. He is currently 74 years old, and believes himself to be in perfect health. He has even stated that he has never seen a doctor, and never taken any medication. Chandra is from the country of Nepal, and is the seventh child of a family of eight. Although two of his brothers and two of his sisters are normal heights, his other three brothers were less than four feet tall suggesting that very strong genetics were playing their part. Chandra is completely accepted in his village, he makes placements, and heads traps so that fellow villagers can carry heavy loads, and cares for the village's livestock. Unlike many other societies, that may have feared Chandra for being different from them, there is a greater understanding within his home village that although Chandra may be different, he is also the same as everyone else in the things that matter. Never ostracized, never beaten. Chandra has created his own little niche in his community. Chandra never sought the limelight for his different height, and he lived for many years quietly in the village where he was born. But when a woodsman came to his village to do some work, he was astounded when he saw Chandra. Soon, the media was alerted, and Chandra had to face the world just because he was a little shorter than most people. However, as Chandra lived in a remote village around 400 kilometers from the capital city of Nepal, he has decided to use his fame in order to see more of his country, and to see more of the world. He sees this as his chance to represent Nepal, and to popularize the country. Chandra now lives quite happily with his nephews in a village with solar power and no television. Three Mega Man, Leonid Stadunk. Almost every woman, when asked to describe her perfect man, 
says a variation on the theme, tall, dark, and handsome. Well, handsome is rather a matter of opinion, but Leonid Stadnik certainly fulfills the first two criteria. He has very dark hair, and is 8 foot, 5 inches tall. Born in 1971 in what was part of the USSR but is now Ukraine, Leonid was a perfectly normal child for many years. However, when he started entering his teens, Leonid started growing, and not in the typical, gangly teenage boy way that we see all the time. Nope, Leonid was tall. He was very tall. A brain operation when he was 14 years old revealed that he had a tumor in his pituitary gland, completely beyond the reach of any doctor. It could not be removed, and while it remained in Leonid's body, it was encouraging the gland to produce a huge amount of the growth hormone that was the source of his incredible increase in size. Leonid has only got bigger and bigger. In 2006, it was reported that he wears European size 62 shoes, which works out at a whopping US size of 28. He weighs almost 450 pounds, and often struggles to keep himself upright, needing to use nearby trees and the sides of buildings to help him keep standing up. Many people who grow to an enormous height find that they develop very serious health problems. And that is why Leonid has been carefully monitored for many years. When he turned 34, however, they made an amazing discovery. The tumor that was to blame for his size had completely disappeared. Leonid has not grown any more since then, and although it is impossible for him to shrink, he can at least be assured that he will not get any taller. You may not realize it, but the spot of the world's tallest man is hotly contested. Leonid's main challenger is Baozish Hun. A Chinese man that stands at 7 foot, 9 inches. You could be forgiven for wondering exactly why the Guinness World Records group decided in 2008 to give the award for Bao over Leonid, but it was all due to technicalities. In order to be officially measured, the individual has to measure several times over a period of 24 hours. These heights are then averaged out to give the official height of that person. In 2008, however, Leonid refused to allow the measuring procedure to occur, causing him the loss of his title. In fact, there has never been an official measurement of Leonid. The doctor that is credited with doing it has since denied that it ever happened. Either way, Leonid is a fine specimen of a man. Two. Biggest man, Patrick Duell. Patrick Duell has rather a tragic history with his weight problems, and even after you think that they have been solved, they just get even more complicated. He is one of the heaviest people in the world, and has struggled with his weight from the time when he was just a child. The American man was once the manager of a restaurant, which was just a continuation of his love affair with food. At his very heaviest, Patrick weighed in at over 1,000 pounds. 1,126 pounds to be precise. He was so heavy that when his doctors needed to weigh him, the only scales that were strong enough to hold his weight were a local livestock scale. This made him one of the heaviest people to ever walk, or not, on the planet, and gave him the nickname of the half-ton man. A love affair with food and a natural dislike of exercise meant that Patrick gained weight rapidly and at one point he had not left his bed for over seven years. When he finally realized that he needed to get help, his entire bedroom wall had to be removed so that people could get to him, and he could fit out. Patrick was taken to a hospital in an ambulance with a specially strong winch system, and the doctors pronounced their verdict. Unless Patrick lost weight, and fast, he was going to die. This forced Patrick to face his problems with his weight and take action. He received gastric bypass surgery, which physically makes his stomach smaller so that he cannot ingest much food. He then had another operation, which removed a huge amount of the fat and skin from his stomach, in an attempt to make it easier for Patrick to start exercising again. After a year, he had lost around 900 pounds. This monumental achievement was great for Patrick, he even appeared on the television show Body Shock. But it was not to last. When Patrick finally left the hospital after that year, he began to eat again. He found it almost impossible, when not under the watchful eye of hospital staff, not to start snacking on more and more food, and he has totally refused to quit smoking. By 2007, two years after his surgery, 
he was back up to 560 pounds, with diabetes and congestive heart failure. The main problem that Patrick has is that he continues to believe that genetics are the only thing making him fat, whilst he has an entire KFC bucket for his lunch. Patrick may have received a second chance, but it looks like he may need a third one. One Superman Zidrunas Savikas. Don't ask us to pronounce the name because he can't. Zidrunas Savikas has made it onto our list because of the incredible amount of power that he has, and it's not political power. Zidrunas is generally considered to be the strongest man in the world, and it's difficult to argue with him. Zidrunas was born in 1975 and is Lithuanian. He only became interested in strength sports and strongman competitions when he was 14 years old when he was watching television and saw a Lithuanian strongman competition. He was greatly inspired by the feats of strength that the men on the show were performing, and immediately knew that he wanted to join their ranks. In a marvelously short amount of time, Zidrunas was competing, and in the same competition that had originally inspired him. Although he did not win, Zidrunas defeated some well-known names in that competition and people started to realize that there was a new man on the strongman stage. It was at this age, the very young age of 17 years, that Zidrunas started training for powerlifting competitions. In the second powerlifting competition that he ever entered, Zidrunas broke all Lithuanian records. It was then that he realized that he could take on the world with the strength that he possessed. He needed and won the Lithuania Strongest Man Contest in 1998 and went on to win it another seven times. That should give you an indication of what sort of man Zidrunas is. Because he truly is the world's strongest man. Admittedly, it took a while for everything to fall into place, when he first entered the world's strongest man contests in 1998 and 2000, he failed to qualify for the finals. But Zidrunas is a man that does not give up, and years of training followed. Of course, that did not mean that he was not competing in other areas. Instead, he was winning powerlifting competitions. He also started to compete in the Arnold Classic, which he won in 2003. And every year until 2008. That's a pretty incredible achievement, but it did not make him the world's strongest man. By 2009, Zidrunas was ready. He was ready to face the world, and he did it. Zidrunas won the world's strongest man competition in 2009, again in 2010, once again in 2012 and for a fourth time in 2014. It is hard to argue that anyone else is the world's strongest man, really. Zidrunas comes out on top in almost every competition that he enters, and has gained the nickname Big Z. Of course, that's what his fans call him. His wife Georgita probably calls him something soppier.